Hi y'all. For those asking me how do I get uh, my typography into the photo that I wanted, I went and found a silhouette of the A, the Avengers A, um, as you see here in wordart.com. I imported the shape and I typed in the word audacity a million times. The more you type it in, the more it fills in all these spots. I got tired of typing it in, so I left it the way it was. Now, um, when you go to download, you want to download as a vector, and that is not free. I have five downloads per the 10 bucks, which I only do this for my Audacity logos. Um, so I do the SVG vector and I save it. Then I go into my silhouette program and I import the vector. I'm gonna show you what that looks like really fast. Give me one second. Um, it's the only one I haven't done. Now this takes a little bit to process. I have a gaming PC with a high processor and a high graphic card, um, 3060. And it still takes some time, as you see. So just give it a moment. Now it imports really tiny. You'll want to select all and group. Again, this process takes a little bit of time. Then I will lock the measurements and make it 20 inches. Now for sublimation, I wanted to have that back, as you see, that uh, back design available. Now you can choose here how dark you want that background image. But remember, if you're doing DTF, then that back image will print like so. Instead of the individual letters, it'll print that brick. Which, I may go that route. I kind of like it looking at it this way. But, I keep it at 5%. Uh, so, when I do sublimation, you can still kind of see it. And then, when you're doing DTF, it's non-existent. Let's go back to Silhouette over here. So, you're going to ungroup. And you're, when you tap, it's going to automatically click on this uh, background image here, the, the opaque one that you see. So you want to send that to the back. As you see, it went away so that you can delete the square. Now you want to select all and group. Okay, and then you'll want to save as a PNG. And you'll want to save it 300 BPI. With a tr Make sure you hit enter when you type it in, otherwise it will not register. Even if you hit it and come down here, if you don't hit enter, it will not register. Transparent background and save. This is going to take a little bit because my silhouette, or like I said, there's a million words here. Can't really tell, but a million tiny words and it'll save. Once it saves, you go into Acro Rip 
for your print or your rip software and you will open it up and start to print. Um, I do want to advise that you want to make sure you're printing in the highest quality. So I ensured that I am doing 1440 by 1440. Um, the R3000 printed this one. Then I had the XP print the other one. And the XP printed the other one. So um, they all print these tiny letters and transfer very well. Um, for those wondering, asking me on this project, I have DTG Pros Ink. DTG Pros Powder, and DTG Pros Film. Um, and I used 100% polyester t-shirts because I wanted them to last. The cotton shirts, literally, the transfer outlasts the t-shirt. So I kind of do blends, higher polyester blends and polyester for my t-shirts. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm in here trying to get you guys all the information I can. Um, thanks for watching.